Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a battery situation that we're having. Our terminals are not tightening up enough to get continuity on these posts on the batteries. So we have the positive here with the red, red side, and then the black is the negative. And maybe you can see, see how there's no gap in there at all? That's tightened all the way down. Um, now this is snug. We don't have any more room at all to tighten it. Uh, yeah, it is snug, and I am driving around okay. Uh, you know, car starting um, and everything. But uh, I want to repair this really because it's really not the way it should be. For example, look at this side here. There's no gap there. We have that tightened all the way. And there's a screw in there just so that I can have continuity here. Uh, that could easily fall out, you know, so we want to get rid of that. Um, to fix the uh, problem we have here, what we're going to do is find the wrench and we're going to go ahead and take these terminals off the post. Um, the wrench size is, for me it is a 10 millimeter and I just need one wrench for this. Now there may be a case where you have a head here that needs to be held with another wrench so you'll need two wrenches to do that. Uh, we're going to start on the um, negative side first and take that off first. So with our 10 millimeter, we're just going to turn it to the left. And I can see that it's kind of raising up here, flexing. So um, I'm going to need to... Uh, I don't think taking the screw out right now is going gonna, is gonna to help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other hand and just hold this down really tight and then try to loosen it that way and I'll get right back. And it can be stubborn so as you can see I had vice grips on one side and then I had to uh, use both hands. Finally broke it free. A little um, lubricant may help. So I think we're good to get it off now. So I'm just going to uh, back this off. About like that right there. And as you see, it's not flexing back with it. The gap is still closed there. So we're going to have to get something like a flathead screwdriver, stick it in there, and spread it open. So we've got it open here. That gap should be big enough if we can get it flexed out that far. Let's get that screw out of the way. Let's try to open that gap up a little bit. Awesome. Okay, getting somewhere. We can uh, actually unscrew it a little more. We want some more space. See how much room we've got now? Let's take it off. Look what the screw has done. Let's clean that up a little bit. So all I'm doing is pushing this to the side over here, cleaning it up with some... I have steel wool. My post is looking good. So now we can move on to the uh, positive side. We'll do the same thing over there.
Okay, posts are clean. Our terminals are clean, kind of shiny. That would be the uh, the look we we want. Next, I'm going to take some petroleum jelly and just coat the post lightly. I'm going to wipe a lot of this off. Now this is going to help us um, from having corrosion build up. I'm going to go ahead and put these felt pads that I took off. They're still in okay condition. Uh, put this one on the negative and then the red on the positive. Alright, now the next step is what we're going to do to really fix this problem. Let me show you what I've got. So we're going to use these battery post shims. Uh, we're going to put, you know, one on each post. And uh, then when we put the terminal back on, we should have plenty of gap to tighten down on. So um, let's open these up and take a look at them. This is lead, so it's best to wear gloves. I don't think I'm going to be handling it too much, though. Uh, I've already got one on the negative. Okay, it just slips right on, and um, how? That's probably like a millimeter and a half there, maybe two millimeters. Okay, let's put that on the. Uh, Don't want to hammer anything, just gently press. Okay, we're good here, here. Alright, now we may have to open our terminal up even more. Looks like we're going to have to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on these uh, shims as well. Just a little tad of grease. So we will put the uh, positive on first, negative last. Okay, I think you get the idea. Okay, ready for the negative. Let's go ahead and put that on. Okay, so we've got our terminal down over the shim, and it's just below the top. Um, I'm very confident that that's going to be okay. Over here on the negative, I put a screwdriver here and just tapped it with a small hammer, um, and you know, continue to go around to get it lower. So I just feel like I'm going to need more space here. Oh, by the way, check the gap out there. We've got some space left over there. So over here, got a huge gap, but that's going to close. Uh, remember, we're tightening on the shim, which has to tighten on the original post. So uh, that's already pretty tight. So anyway, that's kind of the outcome and the fix for uh, having loose terminals that you can't tighten anymore. Uh, those shims should work just fine. So uh, I want to call this a wrap. Thank you for watching the video. I'm going to get this uh, good and snug here. It looks like I'm going to have a lot of gap left over there. If I have to come back and tighten it more no problem. All right, perfect. Make sure we've got lights. Good. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care.